aren't you guys tired of covering this? Aren't you guys tired of being here and having to cover all of these mass shootings? I'm from Highland Park. family vacation with my son visiting my sister-in-law. I have been lobbying in D.C. since we survived a mass shooting in July. I have met with over 130 lawmakers. How is this still happening? How are our children still dying and why are we failing them? Gun violence is the number one killer of children and teens. It has overtaken cars. Assault weapons are contributing to the border crisis and fentanyl. We are arming cartels with our guns and our goose loose gun laws. And these shootings and these mass shootings will continue to happen until our lawmakers step up and pass gun safety legislation. I'm pretty sure this was an unsecured weapon that this teenager got a hold of. We can't even pass gun safety, like safe storage laws in this country to protect kids from getting a hold of weapons that they shoot each other with. All right, so uh, we're going to break away there because that reporter who was using that camera is uh, obviously setting up to do a, a live report there. But the woman said it quite succinctly, aren't you tired of this? Yes, we are tired of this. That woman is Ashby Beasley, and she took over a live stream on Fox News to call out Republicans' opposition to gun reform. She and her son had survived the Highland Park shooting last summer, and now she's in Nashville on vacation where yet another mass shooting just took place at a school, taking the lives of three kids and three teachers. And I mean, what is there to even say at this point? Since Sandy Hook over a decade ago, Republicans in this country decided that dead kids were a price that they were willing to pay for unfettered access to weapons of war. And so we have these shootings and then we beg and we plead and we cry for someone to do something. And then Republicans issue all of their excuses like how it's not the guns, it's godlessness. It's unsecured schools, it's video games, it's mental health, it's the absence of the nuclear family, too many doors. And so we just carry on pretending that it's not the one thing that it so obviously is, the guns. It is the guns. We don't have a monopoly on mental health issues in the United States. We don't have a monopoly on video games or godlessness or non-nuclear families or doors, but we do have a monopoly on guns. We got the most guns in the world, almost half of the guns on the planet right here for just 5% of the world's population. We've got more guns than people. It is the guns. And every time a Republican pretends that it's not the only thing that sets us apart from every other country on the planet, they are doing their part to protect the very thing that is responsible for all this bloodshed. In fact, you know what Republicans did today, uh, a day that kids were getting uh, killed in Tennessee, on a day when a school was being shot up in Nashville, a bunch of Republicans decided to show up at an ATF inspection of a gun store. And we're here for the people to also basically hold the government accountable. And when the government has been weaponized and, and people feel like their gun rights are threatened or gun, or gun dealers feel like their businesses are threatened, um, that's, that's where we step in and make sure that the government is not out of control. And a lot of gun owners and a lot of people feel that way, unfortunately, about your, your but, but agency, that's not the, the way. ATF. Right. So we're just saying just when one of the that's right. On a day when three children were killed in a school shooting in Tennessee, Republicans literally rushed to the defense of a gun store in Georgia. If the metaphor was any more obvious, it would be beating you over the head. And let's be clear about what Republicans in Tennessee, who have full control of that state, have spent their time in power doing. Tennessee just became the first state in the nation to ban drag shows under the pretense of keeping kids safe. Drag shows. Because that's what's putting our kids' lives at risk. A drag show. Taxpayers employed all of these legislators to pass bills that do nothing but vilify some marginalized group because the only way that Republicans can retain power is by trafficking in culture war bullshit. You want to know who's to blame? It is the people who have the power to do something and yet make the conscious decision not to. That's who's to blame. It's the people like this guy, Representative Andy Ogles, the Republican who represents the district that Covenant School is located in. If you're wondering why kids keep getting killed in this country, it's because this is the kind of person that we entrust with the lives of those kids. People whose entire identity is predicated on their fealty to a fucking firearm. So, I don't know, look, there is one way to change this. Vote out the motherfuckers who refuse to act. That's it. I mean, my God, forget the fucking politics. Forget your team. You've got people in office who side with kids, and you've got people in office who side with guns. That should be enough. And look, 
I know that politics is exhausting and trust me, after a day like today, I am exhausted. But the response to this cannot be despair and apathy because then nothing changes. Then we have more of these shootings and it gets worse. It has to be that people see this and they decide that enough is enough and that we can't keep electing people whose gut reaction to a shooting is to rush the defense of the gun. So please don't disengage. Talk to your friends, talk to your family, your coworkers, uh, uh, your neighbors, young people, nieces and nephews, your grandparents, and make sure they vote for people who recognize that the problem isn't the doors or the video games, it is the guns. And by the way, I know that it's reductive to hear me say, go vote. I know that hearing that sounds so trite, so lazy, but the honest truth here is that until we vote these people out, we have a permanent roadblock to progress. These people are immovable. They cannot be shamed. They are owned by the gun lobby. Look at the party split in donations from gun rights groups. $4.6 million to Republicans, $15,000 to Democrats. The top 20 recipients of gun lobby money in the House are all Republicans, and the top 20 recipients of gun lobby money in the Senate are all Republicans. These people are paid not to care, and we are never going to be able to pay them enough to change their minds. So the answer here is not to continue voting for them and then begging them not to be who they are. It is to take their fucking jobs away. It's to replace them with people who give a shit. So I know that hearing me say that we have to vote sucks, but until we do, nothing will change. This won't be the last shooting, just like it wasn't after Buffalo, after El Paso, after Dayton or Las Vegas or Orlando, Virginia Tech, Sutherland Springs, Parkland, San Bernardino, Fort Hood, Thousand Oaks, uh, Pittsburgh, Santa Fe. But I do hope that it's the last straw for a lot of people. If not the people whose job it is to fix it, than at least the people who have the immense power to vote them out of office. Before you go, a quick announcement. I've started a Spanish YouTube channel. Democrats desperately need to be able to appeal to Spanish speaking audiences, so this is me doing my part. To help that channel get going in the algorithm so that we can finally start spreading our progressive message and breaking the conservative stranglehold on Spanish speaking media, please subscribe and watch a few videos. The link to that channel, called Brian Teller Cohen Espanol, is right here on this screen. And of course, to see more of my content in English, make sure to subscribe to this channel as well. The link is also right here on this screen. Thanks so much for watching.